us. It's Black and Bitch and Kina and Athena. Or Rochella, whatever. Oh, sassy sisters have it. Wait, no, whatever. We're, mo we're mole sisters. Call it what you want. <laughs> call it what you want. We're live from the Columbus Museum of Art, taking in lots of wonderful art. Yes. And it's been quite wonderful. <laughs> what, do you, what has been your favorite so far, Kina? So the, far? Hmm. No, pop it in. Well, Maybe the giant sleeping Buddha. Buddha. Yeah, Parana right. Paranirvana. He had reached actual death. As a Buddhist, that's you can die but be reborn. He actually re reached nirvana, para nirvana, where he doesn't have to be reborn again and go back through the life cycle of, of misery, basically. So there's been lots of uh, Columbus, lots of Ohio artists, lots of black art here. I think this museum, I've seen more black art here than anywhere else, right? Yes. The most black art ever. Yeah, yeah. So there's some really notable people. It's so wonderful. Here's one over here. <laughs> Me too. It's where I feel every day. And these are the Watchers by Benny Andrews. So we've had a wonderful weekend of art in the wonderful Columbus. And we're about to leave. Thanks for joining us. You'll see some of our art that we took pictures of, or the art and artistes. I really love this one because it showed a black man in an aristocratic pose, proud, pompous, and just awesome. I'm gonna take a vote and see which one story feels most significant to me in this room. Hmm. Most significant. Summertime, eat it up, we want more. So if you're not familiar with the final girl exodus idea, it's that in horror movies, it's always the final girl who is pure, who survives. Ha, ha, ha.